Ever pondered over why deserts are so dry or what creatures dare to make such harsh regions their home? These questions have tickled the curiosity of many. As we embark on this journey today, we peel back the layers of sand and time to reveal the secrets these vast stretches of wilderness hold. Today, we dive deep into the mysteries of the five driest deserts on Earth and the remarkable animals that inhabit them. So, get ready to uncover a world where life defies the odds. Starting our journey in South America, we uncover the driest place on Earth, the Atacama Desert. Nestled between the Andes and the Chilean coast range, the Atacama Desert stretches over a thousand kilometers. This rain shadow desert, one of the most extreme environments on our planet, is the result of a perfect storm of geographical and climatic conditions. The Atacama is sandwiched between two mountain ranges that create a double whammy effect. The Andes to the east and the Chilean coast range to the west both block the passage of moisture from the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. This phenomenon, known as a rain shadow, traps the desert in a perpetual state of dryness. But don't let the aridity fool you. The Atacama is not a lifeless place, far from it. It's a marvel of adaptation, a testament to life's resilience against all odds. Despite the harsh conditions, a number of creatures have evolved to call this desert home. Take the Andean flamingo, for instance. These elegant birds with their pinkish-white feathers and red-black tipped wings have adapted to feed on microscopic algae that thrive in the desert's salt pans. Then there are the viscachas, rabbit-like rodents that have learned to survive on the sparse vegetation scattered across the desert. And let's not forget the Atacama's microorganisms, the true champions of survival. These microscopic life forms can endure the extreme dryness and UV radiation, offering scientists valuable insights into how life might survive on other planets. From its desolate, moon-like landscapes to its unique biodiversity, the Atacama Desert is a fascinating paradox. On one hand, it's an unforgiving terrain that challenges the very definition of habitability. On the other, it's a living laboratory that showcases the extraordinary lengths life will go to survive. From flamingos to viscachas, the Atacama is a testament to life's resilience in the face of adversity. Moving on to Africa, we find ourselves in the vast expanse of the Sahara Desert. A realm of extremes, the Sahara is the largest hot desert in the world, spreading across an area roughly the size of the United States. This sheer size plays a significant role in its aridity. The large landmass heats up, creating a high-pressure system that essentially pushes away any incoming moisture-laden clouds. Another key factor is the Sahara's wind patterns. The dominant winds here are the trade winds which blow from the northeast towards the equator. These winds, as they traverse the desert, are typically dry, having lost their moisture over the land before reaching the Sahara. This combination of size, heat, and wind makes the Sahara one of the driest places on Earth with some areas receiving rainfall only once every few decades. But like a well-written novel, the Sahara has more to it than meets the eye. Despite its harshness, it's home to a fascinating array of wildlife, each species uniquely adapted to survive in this arid environment. One such creature is the iconic dromedary camel, often called the ship of the desert. They can drink up to 40 gallons of water at a time and store fat in their humps to use as food and water sources during long treks across the desert. Then there's the fennec fox, a small nocturnal creature with oversized ears. These ears not only help the fox here prey underground but also aid in dissipating heat, keeping the fox cool in the desert sun. It's a living testament to the ingenuity of nature evolving to thrive in an environment where survival seems improbable. From the scorching sand dunes to the starlit nights, the Sahara is a testament to the resilience of life. It's a place where life has not only survived but adapted and thrived amidst the sand and heat. The Sahara, a sea of sand, is teeming with life that has learned to embrace the heat. Next, we journey to the Arabian Desert, a scorching realm of heat and sand. This vast expanse stretching across most of the Arabian Peninsula is one of the largest continuous bodies of sand in the world. Its extreme dryness is primarily a result of two factors, its geographical location and its intense temperatures. The Arabian Desert lies in a region known as the subtropical high pressure zone. Here, the Earth's rotation creates an atmospheric phenomenon that pushes moist air away, leading to incredibly low humidity. 
This, coupled with the desert's inland location far from any significant bodies of water, makes for an environment where rainfall is a rare event indeed. But the dryness is only part of the story. The Arabian Desert is also known for its scorching temperatures. In the summer months, the mercury can rise to well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, creating a sun-seared landscape where few can survive. Yet despite these harsh conditions, the Arabian Desert is home to an array of unique wildlife. Take for instance the Arabian Oryx, a majestic creature with long, pointed horns and a striking white coat that reflects the sun's rays, helping it stay cool. This remarkable animal has adapted to survive in the desert's barren plains, able to go for long periods without water. Then there are the agile sand gazelles, known for their speed and grace. These gazelles are built for the desert, with wide, padded hooves that allow them to navigate the shifting sands with ease. They've evolved to extract water from the plants they eat, reducing their need for drinking. In the heart of the Arabian desert, life thrives against all odds. These creatures, along with a host of others, have adapted to the desert's relentless heat and aridity, showcasing the resilience and adaptability of nature in its rawest form. Our journey takes us next to Asia, home to the vast Gobi Desert. The Gobi, an expansive land of extremes, sprawls across northern China and southern Mongolia. Its dryness is primarily due to its geographical location nestled between the Siberian steppes to the north and the Tibetan plateau to the south. These surrounding regions act as a natural barrier, blocking rain-bearing clouds, resulting in minimal rainfall and creating an arid, desolate landscape. This desert also experiences harsh wind patterns. The Siberian winds in winter are particularly fierce, whisking away any hint of moisture and leaving the region parched. The Gobi is not just a sea of sand dunes, as one might imagine. It's a diverse terrain comprising rocky outcrops, icy peaks, and sparse vegetation, all shaped by these relentless winds. Despite these harsh conditions, life finds a way. The Gobi is home to a unique array of creatures that have adapted to its extreme environment. Among them is the iconic Bactrian camel, a two-humped wonder. These camels have adapted to the desert's volatile climate with thick coats for the freezing winters and the ability to go without water for months during the scorching summers. Another rare inhabitant of this desert is the Gobi bear, the world's rarest bear species. These resilient animals have adapted to life in the Gobi, subsisting on a diet of roots, berries, and small mammals. Their ability to survive in such a hostile environment is a testament to the marvels of evolution. The Gobi's aridity and the creatures that inhabit it are a testament to the remarkable adaptability of nature. Their survival is a story of resilience and adaptation, a story that continues to be written in the sands of this vast desert. The Gobi, a desert of extremes, is a testament to nature's adaptability. Our final stop takes us to North America, home to the mysterious Great Basin Desert. Stretching across parts of Nevada, Utah, California, Idaho, and Oregon, the Great Basin Desert is a place where dryness reigns supreme. But what makes this desert so parched? The answer lies in its geography and climatic conditions. Nestled between the Sierra Nevada and the Rocky Mountains, the Great Basin is a high-altitude desert. This unique location creates a rain shadow effect where the mountains block moisture, causing the region to be dry. The desert experiences a cold desert climate where winters can be brutally cold and summers extremely hot. There's little rainfall throughout the year and when it does rain, it's quickly absorbed by the thirsty ground or evaporates, leaving behind a landscape that is both stark and stunning. Now you might be thinking, what kind of animal could survive in such harsh conditions? Well, the Great Basin Desert is home to an array of unique creatures that have adapted brilliantly to their arid surroundings. The desert bighorn sheep, for instance, can go without water for several days at a time. These agile climbers have adapted to the rugged terrain and scarce water supply, thriving where many other species would struggle to survive. Then there's the Great Basin Rattlesnake, a reptile known for its striking color and potent venom. This snake has adapted to the desert's harsh conditions by becoming nocturnal, avoiding the scorching daytime heat and hunting in the cooler night hours. These creatures, along with many others, carve out a living in this arid landscape, demonstrating nature's incredible tenacity and adaptability. Despite the harsh conditions, they have found a way to not only survive, but to thrive, showcasing the remarkable biodiversity of this desert. 
The Great Basin Desert, a world of mystery and survival, wraps up our journey through the world's driest deserts. From the flamingos of the Atacama to the bighorn sheep of the Great Basin, life finds a way in the driest corners of our planet. We've journeyed through the scorching sands of the Sahara, the enigmatic expanse of the Arabian Desert, and the stark wilderness of the Gobi. In each, we've discovered unique ecosystems, thriving despite harsh conditions. It's a testament to the resilience and adaptability of nature. If you found our journey through the world's driest deserts intriguing, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into our planet's diverse ecosystems.